Hello and a very warm welcome to this channel. Um, in this video I'm going to be showing you my basic Lightroom workflow. Uh, in future videos we'll be getting a bit more complicated with the edits and we'll also be going out on some shoots and then I will take you through the shooting process uh, covering landscapes, covering portrait photography, sports photography, bit of macro and also shooting models. Um, so if you would consider subscribing that would be much appreciated and really does help the channel and uh, we will go over into Lightroom and uh, crack on with the edit. So here we are in Lightroom and I'm going to start this edit the way I would start all my edits. So first and foremost I'm going to enable lens profile corrections and remove chromatic aberration. There won't be much in the way of uh, chromatic aberration around the, the bird's head. It's quite a dark day, not much light coming from behind. So first and foremost I'll go up to the basic panel. I'm going to leave the exposure as it is for the time being and also the contrast. What I'm going to do is reduce the highlights to bring back some detail back into the bird's feathers just on its uh, chest uh, on the white feathers so I'm going to reduce the highlights I'll keep pulling them back and I'm happy with that there but I'm also now going to open up the shadows on the image yeah I'm happy with that so we've reduced the highlights to minus 50 and we've opened up the shadows to plus 83 now I'm going to set the white point in the image so to do this I will down the alt key and press on the white click on the white slider and I'll keep just gradually increasing the whites until I've got some artifacts coming through and then just at that point I will just reduce the whites so we've got no clipping on the whites I'm now going to do the same on the blacks holding down the alt key and pressing on the black slider and I'm going to reduce the blacks but where the blacks are just do like a bit more pure black in an image so I will just let the blacks clip just slightly but I will be uh, pulling the black back a bit later on so now onto the texture slider I will uh, increase the textures in the image just a little bit I don't want to go too far with this just to bring out a little bit more texture in the bird's feathers I don't want to bring out any texture in the background at all and I'm just going to up the clarity a little bit and this tends to increase the contrast as well so now I've up the clarity and uh, the texture I'm going to go on to the vibrant slider and I'm just going to up the vibrance just a little bit there just to bring out the vibrance in the yellows and the bird's beak and I'm also just going to reduce the saturation slightly just on the whole degree back just a little bit so on the tone curve I'm just going to leave that alone for a moment and I'm going to go down to the use saturation illuminance panel so on the saturation I'm just going to bring back the saturation into greens just a little bit just pulling that back slightly so it's a little bit more how it was on the day it was a cold January morning when uh, this photograph was taken so I'm quite happy with the uh, reducing saturation on the greens so that was the basic uh, edit I'm not going to do anything with split toning uh, I'm not going to do anything with the sharpening present I actually just have 40 of the sharpening uh, put in just on the uh, on the import of the image so I'll leave that where it is so I'm going to go back to the tone curve I'm just going to put a, a gentle S curve into the tone curve just adding a little bit more contrast and you can see now the bird is really starting to pop from the background so now onto the filters panel I'm going to drag in a graduated filter but before I do anything like that I'm going to click on the effect and just drag in a filter there and just reducing that down to about one and a third stop something like that just open that up a little bit and just pull it down so we've got about one and a third stops on the graduated filter just on the sky 
but I'm not going to do anything else with that graduated filter. What I'm now going to do is just draw the exposure back just a little bit. Just a, a touch, about a quarter of a stop, and then I'm going to introduce some radial filters. So I'll click on the radial filter, as you can see everything's set back to zero. On the radial filter I'm just going to just warm that filter up slightly and also give it a little bit of red on the tint. So the first radial filter I'm going to drag across this part of the image here. I'll grab all the radial filter just to turn it around slightly. Just warm it up a little bit. And as you can see we've, we've added a few warmer tones just to the mid-ground there. I'm now just going to duplicate that filter just by hovering over it, pressing the right mouse key and click on duplicate. And I'm going to just drag that filter just over to this side of the image so we can continue through the image just in the mid ground with a few slightly warmer tones. So I'm going to click a new radial filter now and just click on the effect button just to reset everything to zero. I'm going to put a, a small radio filter around the bird's eye. Just like that and I'm going to just increase the exposure slightly of that just to make the eye pop a little bit. Not too far. Just maybe about a quarter of a stop. I'm going to increase the sharpness on that radio filter just a little bit, just to make the eye a bit sharper. And I'm now going to get a new radial filter and just put a radial filter on the bird. Just going to drag that radial filter out slightly, bring it in a bit more and just rotate the radial filter. Now on that radial filter I am just going to increase the exposure slightly just to make the bird stand out, just pops, just stand out from the background. And you can see, I think you'll think that uh, it certainly made the bird stand out. So this is uh, the before image, before we did any of the edit, and that's the after, and I'm sure you'll agree with me that the bird really does stand out from the background, and it certainly added a bit of contrast to the image. So the last thing that we're going to do with this uh, photograph now is just get the crop tool just to improve the composition. I'm going to get the crop tool and just drag it in. And we're just going to crop the bird there. So it's, it's more or less sat on the third, which I think just improves the composition of the image. Hit return, and there we go, that's the cropping done. So, thank you very much if you've stuck with this far for following along with this. Please hit the subscribe button, comment below, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.